Hi, I'm Justin Davis from Imperial College, and it's a pleasure to welcome to you to one of the cases we recorded uh, here today earlier in our lab. We're delighted to have the new uh, Med in a Box system, and this enables us to record cases uh, as we go along. It's very exciting technology, and uh, really should help with both education and development of uh, techniques. Now, this was an interesting case of uh, a gentleman who presented with uh, an overdose uh, to one of our referring hospitals, came across, uh, we found to have rather diffuse disease, and particularly there was a, an intermediate uh, to moderate distal left main stem lesion. There was very irregular and atheromatous looking vessels overall uh, with perhaps some focal uh, lesions in them. And uh, we were really focusing our investigation here uh, to this circumflex artery and to the left anterior descending artery. With an interesting case, you can certainly see that the new uh, Verata pressure wire handled particularly well. You can see we were going down very torturous and atheromatous vessels, and uh, really it navigated uh, these without uh, too much difficulty at all. So I hope you enjoy the case. Great, so this is the new uh, Verata pressure wire. You can see this pressure wire as it comes in the pack here. Uh, it's all nicely assembled. The first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, just releasing the, the, the door here. You've got the little cable, and uh, you see the actual wire itself is fixed into the bottom of me just normalizing in this position, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take the wire down. It's just free floating in the aorta. I'm going to pull the needle introducer back. And let's, just, let's check our position now. That's a great position. We can see that. Uh, even before normalization on the screen, the curves are almost uh, overlying one another. But we know we have to normalize. So, Kevin, could you go ahead and normalize for us there? Thanks. So, and that looks great. So, I'm just going to just loop things and then go straighten things up again. little branch at the bottom there. I'm just going to push on to try and stay in that big branch for now. Across. So measure IFR there. So 0.62, very, very significant. That's fantastic, Kevin. Thank, Thank you. you. That's great. So I'm just going to pull the wire back now and I'm just looking to see if there's any uh, big step ups in the in the gradient. So nothing really very much here. Maybe a little bit there, so I'm, I'm mid vessel there now. So if you can pick and make another measurement for me here, we'll be about 15 minutes, sir. Okay, I appreciate your patience. 0.76 there. It's so, all so in the main stem actually. And then we go just in, that's the ostium of the circumflex artery. So it's actually that distal left main stem circumflex is, is very significant. Make another measurement for me there, Kevin. That's great. And that's going to be very significant as well. So I'm now going to just uh, bring the wire back and I'm just going to uh, back into towards the ostium here. I'm just going to change the direction and now going to point up towards the LAD. And pressure drop is in the LED here again because if it is, then that really points as strongly in the in the. And there we go. So even just across the uh, the distal left main stem there, we've got a, a very very significant uh, uh, result, I think. So let's just, uh, Kevin, can we just make a measure there? So I'm Point seven seven, so significant again. And can we just do a, fl a fluoro record there, please, Julius? Okay, so I'm just documenting the position of the wire. Now, I'm really, I'm, I'm quite proximal in this vessel, so I'd only anticipate that as we go further, further south here, we would, uh, would see more of a, a pressure drop. So, I'm just going to advance down here very uh, carefully.
just uh, test me this out. Is that in the LED now? Yeah, I'm in the LED now. Okay. Uh, not with the white there, just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Fluor record piece, Jules. Thank you. Okay. I was documenting the position there. We'll be on that mid uh, lesion there. And uh, Kevin, if we could have another uh, acquisition there with the IFR. So 0.59, highly significant here again. So we got a, a very interesting uh, result here. We've got very significant circumflex artery. We've got a very significant LED artery. All, a lot of the pressure drop seems to be occurring in that distal left main stem, but there's further disease, of course, in both those vessels. There's disease in the marginal, disease in the diagonal branch as well. So I think let's come out, check normalization, take a check uh, angiogram picture, and I think we're probably finished here. So as you can see, th that was a very interesting case. Uh, we really concluded uh, that the both the circumflex and the LED were very significant in the distal end. And clearly when we pulled the wire back, you can certainly see that the biggest component of this was that lesion in the distal left main stem. Even though these vessels are very torturous, you can see that the Verata pressure wire handled really beautifully. And uh, we were able to complete this case uh, without any complications, very simply, in a few minutes.